Hallo, ik ben Darla Bokeman. Uh, hey, maar even terug. Alleen je, alleen oh, je alleen voornaam gebruiken, oh. anders gaan ze je opzoeken. Ja. Hallo, ik ben Darla en uh, ik wil ongeveer dezelfde lengte en een soort van persenkleurige uh, nee, haarkleur. haarkleur. Ja. Ja. Nou, this is uh, it's gonna be my model for today, Darla, and she wants uh, a bit, bit pinky color, and she wants all, almost the same length. We can take out some dark colors of it because it's too hard in the frame of her face. But you will see what we do. So I ask her to turn around so we can see her gentle hairstyle. Een rondje draaien, alsjeblieft. Dat is een mooi rustig rondje. Thank you. Here. Hello friends on YouTube, come do her hair. And uh, let's first start with a cape. And this is a new cape, it has a rubber band on top. So it seals the neckline totally. So no hairs can go in. A rubber closed neckline. What I'm going to do is, um, I want to get rid of the dark color. So I can take it in, a, in an undercut, leaving the top a little bit longer, we can make a wonderful new color on her, but take out the dark colors and leave the length like it is, but give it some creative moves. And I want to make something with a French, so that's what I'm going to do. Just wet, wet the hair a little bit, not too much. I'm gonna work with a feather knife. First set the blonde hairs away. And this is an old Profana color. Getting very hard out of the hair. But we leave it because it's nice. We'll be giving some contrast in the color we're going to make on it. Now I come on underlines. Those are wet a little bit more. Now I'm going to start at the sides using my Kiona feather knife and get rid of the dark colors. Always work in the lines of the hair fall. So just gently flow with them. Create a nice soft side beard, no hard lines, cutting on the ear, there where the hair goes straight down, go in on top and make a turn and lay the hair again in the natural shapes. I'll show you that in a minute. Just work with the tip of my feather knife. Now you can already see how big the difference is between the colors. Because the natural color is not much nicer than the dark colors and beneath lines. Get in with my feather knife, pull the hairs to the front. Finding the real shapes of a skull using a skull bone as a volume maker. Still pulling the hairs to the ears and holding my comb in the eyebrow lines. So I'm certain that I have a natural falls. Feather out the neckline. Create a nice soft contour line.
in the outlines of the contour I take it to the sides just to make myself a wonderful soft line you see there's no hard line in it coming at the center line I'm gonna work in this line you can see it already the difference between the dark color and the light colors I don't have to push that, the knife in because it's ultra, ultra sharp so just gently go in don't force anything create a nice soft lines and try to get rid of the dark color Or make it that playable that you don't see it anymore, with just a, a shim of it. Lay the comb in the line of the natural fall. Take it to the back. Cut to wet it again because it's getting dry. And working with the knife, you need a little bit moist hair. First, pull it to the back. And then work it out on the contour. Also nice soft again. Using only the tip of my knife. My first baseline. My cobalt six. Clean the hairs around the ears. They're mostly very thin. So you hardly see them. I made a nice soft connection to the underlines and still holding it ultra soft. scissor make the lines more perfect ultra 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 fine slice technique Zo'n zachte kleur. Ja. Het is echt mooi, het is veel minder hard. Het is echt, echt veel mooier. Wet hair again, and then I free it. I take my first line of the disconnect line. Over the fall I just made. Start on the front again, knowing that I will have a fringe at the front. I just gently go in, holding the length she has, so the underlines will be nice, soft, a little bit deeper of color but not too much. So I use the natural colors 
in the spring we're thinking about going ultra platinum blonde or something like that or into the violet silver lines it's also very nice on our skin tones Part myself the part of the fringe because you don't like the length that's hanging on our face. I'll show you the parting after I made it. Wat is die fel zeg ik heel goed. I'll show you the parting. Mag je klein stukje doordraaien? Deze kant op zijn. So I made a parting because here she has a crown and there I know the hair will certainly go that way. So I get a little bit in a rounding to the front. But what I do is I take the natural fall of the hair. So I can make a fringe in this part without disturbing her natural lines. And I'm certain she has then a nice open frame. Can lay them in the natural shapes and natural lines. Watch at the fall. Correct it in the line of falling. A bit strange with the light uh, green. It's a bit fluo color. I have myself here a little bit crazy hair. <laughs> Goes the other way around. So now I have a nice new line. Well, let the hair fall on it. I can use this line to connect it right. But I have a nicer open face line. I can stick it that right. Again, connect the line. Er is wel veel in een kapsel waar je normaal niet hoort hè, als je dan praat over ja. kapsels. Ja. Cool. At the center of the skull. Now I have to know that the line on the other side is connecting to this line. And I need the length that I have. But what I can see here is this line. This is a bit dry. And here I have a part of the line from the top. So I'm going to connect this line to that line to make a perfect fall. When she goes swimming or go outside, she also has a better line when the hair flips over. So it always looks good. Take the hairs down. Lay them in a the natural fall. Holding the length I need on the front. Travel the same way back. Take the hairs on the crown area. Give them some effect. Lay them in the rounding and connect them. Now this part is ready. So flip it over to the other side. You can work on the back into the other side. Mag je draaien? 
go from the center of the skull. Part hairs over the rounding. Holding the upper hair aside. This with a clamp. Okay, lay the hairs in natural fall. Now watch through the hair at the roundings of a beautiful skull shape. She has a wonderful skull to work on. It's marvelous. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Would be something that the President of the United States could do this. Oh, I think it's wonderful. Fire fry, very fine. Everybody should add one. Now I want to leave the length at the sides. So go in, follow the line, just in the line of cutting. Go to the front. Free the hair on top. Lay to the back. Lay it all over the roundings. Make sure it all flows. Just nicely cut, be combed. Get in over the center line. And using the natural shapes. i show you that. Turning a bit. I lay them in the rounding of the skull. And here I have the hair off the top. So now you have a wonderful shape. When I lay it back, I get the natural fall again. Show you from the side. Lift the hairs up. Give it a little bit of layer, not too much. Only the fine parts. Still working in the same lines as the natural shapes are. Give some effect. It's the same as deep slicing, just only the tip of a knife. You can also take a knife this way in your hands and then just do it like a pen. You drone the hairs in. Come to the front. Clear out. Yeah. Let's go on the light. Come this is super mooi. Have you a black light ook gezien? Nee. Oh, that's jammer. Nee, it's not so fine black light. Nee. Ik voel geen extase, had je dat altijd in de ja. At the side, take the hairs straight down. Take off only the ultra small part of it. So as she asked me the most length to, to hold. In this case, I do that. This is the line, so I turn it so you can see it, how it falls. When it lays in the natural shapes, it just wonderfully goes in the flow of the skull. 
Coming to the front, I see the angle where it's cut in, so it has a, a little bit of angle. Now what I want to do is get across on the front, take the front now to the front, pull it straight down, watch where my fall is, and connect it on the line I already made on this side. So you just give it a nice soft fall to the longer length. That's all I do. Go back again, control it. And I like to work in the opposite lines because mostly when you work in the opposite lines, the fall is a lot better than when you work in the natural lines. So the opposite lines always give a better effect in this kind of hairstyles. So for so far cutting, and now I'm going to make the collar. Ah, I'm going to do it with this right Yeah. Okay, now I made her a toner on a soft pink violet base. I made this of a conditioner of Lacme and a shampoo. Part one on one, I show you the tubes. And the nice thing about working with this is that you can do it yourself at home. It never gives problems. It's always a wonderful result. It's ultra, ultra fine for the hairs. But you don't get damaged in any way. And because there's a little bit of red in it, it will certainly take away a lot of the greenish gold tone. And it will respect her own color. There's no peroxide, there's no, nothing in it. So I put it all over her hair. So now I have my conditioner on her hair. I leave it for about 50 minutes. We'll give it some heat so it will be more active. But normally when she does it at home it's plastic foil for 20 minutes also enough. And then I rinse it out and you see the end result of it. I will show you also the product what I used. It's maybe easier than showing you the photos afterwards. These are the products you use. This is the conditioner, this is the shampoo. The nice thing about the shampoo of Lacme is you can set it the other way around so it's not hard to get the shampoo out. This I did one on one, so this will be more transparent in this way. Give her also this to support at home. Okay, back from rinsing out the color, the other conditioner. We can see already what the conditioner does and how wonderful it is. Now, of course, it's wet, but it's ultra transparent. Before I blow dry the hair, I use a foam. This one is of uh, Goldwell, Chain Mats. Apply this on the hair. Go blow drying with a light brush, starting on the longer side. Put my blow dryer on flat and shine, not on volume. And of course, there is a wonderful condition because we call it a winter conditioner. Let's 
zie het stukje waar die groen heeft gezeten. Zie je, dat zit hier. Ja. Klein lokje. Maar op zich is die ook niet slecht. Die is een nee. beetje meer rooiger. Rooiger, ja. Dat is ook niet erg, want er zit daar een totale lok op. Hè. Wel vet anders dan uh, twee die waren meer begonnen. Ja. Wat leuk. Ja, dat is. Ik vind het sowieso leuk als het dan weer echt wat anders is. Ja. Dat, uh, Voor dat te weten. Ja. Ik vind niks leuker als modellen die elke keer iets anders willen. Ja. Dat vind ik leuk. Dan hoef je echt niet uh, voor mij in te houden als model. Dat wil ik maar weten. Nee, ik denk dat ik juist geen model zou willen zijn als ik de hele tijd hetzelfde zou willen. Want dat nee, is voor dat jou ook niet interessant. Staan. Nee, dat is niet interessant. Ik heb er een paar bij die dat wel doen. Hè? Ja, nou ja, voor de technieken en zo dus zal dat wel goed zijn. Een ander kopje dat je dan krijgt, dat is ook ja. een Sofa blow dry. Deze is lastig. Ja. Ah, het gaat net. Niet alles erop te zetten. Dat doe ik ook niet hoor. Nee, alleen de goede stukken. Hm? Ik zeg alleen de goede stukken. Ja, zeker. De beste. Dat is ook uh, knippen. Ja, zeker. <laughs> leuk dat eigenwijze lak hier. Ja. Dat vind ik echt leuk deze. <laughs> Pas wel weer aan. Ja. Now style it with a, a texture hairspray. I use this because it's more flexible. Finish it with a strong hairspray. Make use of some elements in there. There, there. You can lay it flat if I want to, but I don't want it. I love it when it jumps up. And this is uh, my new hairstyle for her. Hmm. And color, of course. Hope you like it. 
We'll see each other on the next YouTube video. I show you her by turning around. And of course, the thank you for watching. <laughs> Can't make a step yet. Okay, my love, you must show this hairstyle to the world by turning around. It's wonderful how your natural shapes and colors are. And thank you for modeling. Thank you. You're more than welcome. <laughs>